Bam, let's get to it. This is Brooklyn, St. Michael, super pumped, ready here, live in aquaponics paradise, ready to get started once again, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going back to the basics. We're not going to any advanced stuff. We're starting all the way back to the basics because that is where a lot of you guys need help and we're jumping into too many advanced things and some of you guys are still stuck uh, at the, the very beginning stage, stage zero. So we're gonna start, get it going again. We're gonna start Aquaponics 100, build you up so you guys can get growing with aquaponics and not just sitting there being a looky-loo. So that's what we're gonna get started with today. So today, what we're gonna be talking about is how to get started with aquaponics. I'm gonna lay out a blueprint for you, a formula that I use and that I recommend and that I wanna give to you so you can start um, and begin with your aquaponic journey. You're not sitting around just looking around and observing and clueless on what you need to do. So that's what we're gonna go through right now. So what I have for you is an acronym, it's called LAPS. And we're gonna break this down and this is gonna be the blueprint for you when you wanna get started from the very, very beginning because many of you are right there at the very beginning. Some people are at the beginning, you think you're, you're at your advance and that's not the case. So we're at the very beginning and that's where we're gonna start. And some of you guys are just a little bit too scared to get started and you just, like I said, you just don't have a, a clear direction and you don't know when to jump in and uh, you, don't, you don't know which direction to go. So we're gonna uh, try to lay something out for you right now so you can have a direction to go. So with that being said, LAPS is the acronym. L-A-P-S, the first one. Woo, L, this is for learn. This is the first thing that I re recommend each and every one of you doing before you get going and get um, uh, get an aquaponic system established is to learn. And what I mean by learn is you need to learn the fundamentals of aquaponics first. This is the first thing you do because this is a science. This is a science. So if you don't have the correct foundation when you start, everything else after is gonna be messed up. And this is why I'm telling you, this is why a lot of people have problems, including myself in the very beginning, have problems trying to crack the code to aquaponics because you did not start off with the proper fundamentals. So we need the seven core fundamentals you need to learn of aquaponics, which is the design fundamentals, you need to learn sizing fundamentals, you need to learn uh, water quality management, you need solids quality, uh, or solids management, solids filtration, um, you need biological filtration, you need fish production and plant production. Those are the seven core fundamentals of aquaponics that you need to learn first and get familiar with and i'm not talking about listen i'm not talking about sitting there learning and taking three years to uh, uh learn all of this stuff that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about getting a general idea an, a general overview on how the main concepts of aquaponics works how it works what are the main concepts in each one of these fundamentals that you need to know so as far as um for an example design fundamentals designing an aquaponic system which component goes in which order which one goes in which order a lot of people get confused like this system here that we have a lot of people are confused when i'm able to do split the plumbing certain ways and they're confused it's why because you just don't understand the design fundamentals when you understand the design fundamentals then you're able to start doing things and you understand how aquaponics works so just get an overview of it an overview of each one of the um, the core fundamentals of aquaponics. It shouldn't take you 3,000 years. We shouldn't be waiting to the next ice age for you to learn that and move on to the next stage. It should just take you roughly, you know, a few weeks, maybe for some of you, depending on how much time you have, maybe a, a few months. It just depends on your, your, um, your learning, um, how fast you learn things, your learning ability, uh, but everyone's able to learn it no matter what what your learning ability is everyone's able to learn it some people may take a little bit of, a little bit more time some people can catch on you know very quickly so that's the first thing is you need to learn learn the core uh elements the core um, um the fundamentals of aquaponics the first thing that i suggest you doing once you understand that the core fundamentals of aquaponics the next thing you need to do is a what is that assemble now you can get out there and start assembling an aquaponic system. Now you can do that. You can assemble one. And what I suggest, you have two options. What I suggest is you can either replicate a system, find somebody that you know or that you see doing aquaponics, someone that you 
think is good at aquaponics. It doesn't have to be me. It could be anybody else. Anyone else that you think uh, knows what they're doing, take the system that they have and replicate it. This is for people who are just getting started. Replicate it and do exactly what they're doing. Don't deviate from the plan. Do exactly what they're doing and you can get the results that they have. That's option number uh, number one. And there's a few systems that you can go out there and replicate. Um, the University of Virgin Islands being the, you know, that's being the OG system. That's the original gangster system. Uh, you know, that's just what it is. It's, a, you know, it's more of an old school uh, technique. And uh, it works, still works very well. So that's one of the OG systems that you can use. A few other people have some systems out there. But the aquaponic guide, you know that we got the best system. You know this already. This is the most that I've ever seen. This is the most efficient, simplest, easiest system to, that I've ever seen. And I am willing to bet this system against any system. That's how confident I am. We've been working on this system here for um, a few months now, and it's just, it, it just works. It's very simple. It, it's, many of the steps are cut out that you would use in another, in different type of systems. The biological and solids filtration components are combined. Uh, it's just so many things that I can do it. And when I have to weigh the fish and empty the water out, the sump tank is perfect to hold the water. It's a ton of things in here that I haven't even shown all you guys yet. It's crazy. It's crazy how easy it is to, to make to do this system and to work it for this small scale. If we lar uh, enlarged it for a commercial scale, we'd have to get the um, the pipes and everything, or the diameter pipes, the pumps and all that stuff right. But for this size right now, the, um, the size that it is, a small uh, a hobby system, I don't, I don't think there's anyone on the market that even comes close. I'm going to be straight honest with you right now. I don't think there's anyone that's easier than this. So with that being said, though, there still are other people who have systems uh, that you can get out there and replicate. So uh, it's up to you to make your choice. Option number two is you can get out there and you can custom design. Depending on how well you understand the fundamentals, the core fundamentals of aquaponics, how, how well you understand how it works, that will enable you to get out there and then design, custom design your own system. Just like how um, you see guys seen, see me do this one here. I did this one in front of you guys. When I, I didn't even, there was no sketches or anything with this, just straight off the, straight off, off the top of the mind. But when you understand it, then you're able to do those type of things. But I would, ex, I, that's what I would recommend for more advanced people, more advanced growers who had a little bit more time for, uh, um, uh, going through the fundamentals and really studying the craft of aquaponics. So that was, that's the second option. So you can replicate a system or you can custom design a system. The option is yours. But do not stip, do not jump straight to this step before you get to the first part, the learn, or else this part right here is going to cause the problems. When you start building and putting things together and you don't know exactly how it functions, that's where you start becoming a maintenance man, an aquaponics maintenance man. You start getting into that. And that's not what we really want to be doing. So we want to be growing, uh, build our system correct, correctly uh, according to the fundamentals of aquaponics all right so the next thing that we want to do is p this is the next part and p is what produce obviously once you learned aquaponics the fundamentals then you assembled your system then now you want to start producing it's not just keep building 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 looking at your system it's not doing that you build or you uh, learn assemble and then now it's time to produce. Get your learn about fish. Uh, uh, start mastering your plant production. Start getting in here, learning about uh, uh, getting more familiar with pest disease, uh, 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 pest control, and disease management. Start learning about your feed conversion ratios when you're feeding your fish. Different pellet sizes, protein uh, percentages in the feed. You start getting more equipped. Now you're practicing. The P could be produce or practice because you need to get your practice in. So now you're getting more familiar. You're getting your experience in. You're becoming a veteran. You know, as time keeps going on, eventually you become an aquaponics guide. After that, once you be begin practicing and you become more familiar with the system and you're comfortable, then what? What do we have left? The last one is S in laps. S is what? You can either sell or serve. You got two options depending on what you are. If you're running in the hobby, then you're going to be serving. Serving is serving yourself. You're eating the vegetables. Yes, eating the vegetables. Eating the vegetables. Eating the fish eating the vegetables not the s is not for stare so a lot of people do sit there and stare you should be in shape eating all these vegetables and you should be healthy and looking phenomenal representing aquaponics to the highest highest level this is a high class farming uh, this is high class farming and it needs to be represented the right way i say you should be in shape all these vegetables that you're growing even if you're doing it for a hobby you should be eating them 
You should be eating them and taking care of yourself. Aquaponics, it works the whole way around. That's what's so phenomenal, phenomenal about aquaponics is it allows you to have a hobby and something that you can take and use and, um, and make yourself healthy. That is just crazy. You can't do that with any other hobby. Cars, if you're in a, a, a mechanic or whatever, you're in working on cars, you can't eat the car part. It's not going to make you any more healthy. Aquaponics does that. You can eat your fish and your vegetables. You should be on point, looking great. You should be getting in shape, looking great, eating healthy, always eating vegetables every night. You should have that. That's exactly what come, uh, uh, is part of doing aquaponics. So the S does, and, and then the other part, the, uh, the, the S could stand for is sale. If you're going to, if you're going to be a, uh, if you want to get into aquaponics for growing for, uh, um, for career, you sell. That's the last part of it. You sell, you sell, you get out there and sell. I did the sales part before. That's not my thing. I don't want to be out here selling vegetables. That's just, I did it. It's easy, way easier than being an instructor and teaching it much easier, way easier, but it's just not my thing. I'm not going to do anything that I want, don't want to do. I'm not going to sacrifice my time for doing anything that I don't want to do. I don't care what the price tag is on there. You cannot buy me with money. My time is the most important thing, so I'm not going to do that. I love doing this. I love getting out there. I love interacting with the growers. So that's what I like doing. But some of you guys, for the a good portion of you guys, you guys do want to get out there and go and sell, and that's what you can do. You can go out there and sell. What does the S not stand for? Stare. It doesn't stand for sit there and stare at your vegetables and fish and never eat them. It's just not something to just sit there and stare. You get out there and you sell or you serve. That's So this right here is the blueprint that I've laid out for you guys. You take it, run with it, and I guarantee that you'll find success with aquaponics if you follow the blueprint. Uh, the blueprint. If you follow the blueprint. If not, you can go around the, uh, all around the world, go around in circles and, and go in a circus, and you can jump steps, and I'm telling you right now, it's not gonna work that way. But if you follow the directions, just like I laid them out to you right now, when you start going in aquaponics, I guarantee it'll be very, very easy, and you'll be able to skip ahead, and you'll be able to run laps. That's why I call it laps. You'll be able to run laps around everyone else that's just doing whatever they want to do. Some people are just jumping straight in. They, you see aquaponics, and you jump straight into it, start assembling a system, and you have no clue what is going on. You have no clue what is going on. And I, like I said, I'm guilty of that in the beginning when I first started, but this information wasn't really out there like that. And I couldn't find it. And I had zero background. So th this formula works for someone with zero background, uh, zero experience. I didn't have any gardening, any farming. I didn't go to college for none of this. Only thing I had was uh, determination and uh, a will to win and confidence. And that's it. So that's how I was able. But it still took a way too long to get where I wanted to get. And I'm trying to give you the super shortcut, the super shortcut on the way that I would definitely recommend doing it. All right. So with that being said, we have, let's go over once again, we have laps, learn, learn the seven core fundamentals that we went over, go over and get a, a, a pretty much an overview on how everything functions, understand the main concepts of aquaponics, all right, understand exactly what aquaponics is, what it is, and how it is intended to be used, learn, then after that you assemble, assemble a system, that means you can replicate a system. Uh, for most of you guys, or if you're comfortable, you're confident, you're ready, you think you got it, boom, go customize the system. Get out there and go customize one. Make one. Invent your own. This is how you got the aquaponic God system. You can do it. You definitely can do it. I promise you. There's nothing special about me doing it. All it is is just sitting there, taking a little time, and just understanding what you're doing. That's all it is. You can do it. Everyone else can do it. There's nothing special about it. Boom, after that you have P. We're gonna produce. Produce or practice. Produce and practice. So you're gonna produce your uh, vegetables, you're gonna start producing your fish. And also you're getting your practice. You're becoming a veteran. Veteran, boom, boom. You're racking up some experience, become an aquaponics guy one day. Boom, then after that, sell or serve. Or you can do both, you can sell and serve. Sell, go out and sell to, uh, to the farmer's market, set up a stand, uh, restaurants, CSAs, Whatever it is that you're gonna be out there doing, you can do it, absolutely. Come with a game plan, or you can serve, which is what I do, because I get out here and serve. Boy, would vegetables be on the grill. Boy, vegetables be in the frying pan. Boy, vegetables be eating raw, everything. Give me the vegetables. Fish, 
coming soon. Those will be coming out soon. Boy, tilapia will be on the grill. Woo, so with that being said, that's the blueprint, ladies and gentlemen. It's not hard. Aquaponics is really not hard when you have the guideline. When you have the guideline, if you have to duel it out like I had to duel it out, it was hard. It was hard, man. And that's when I said, one video I made on which one is easier, uh, I did hydroponics versus aquaponics. And I said in that video that hydroponics is easier, and I have to take that back. Aquaponics is a thousand times easier, especially with this system. Let me say with this system, it's a thousand times easier. I don't know about anybody else's system. The other system I had, it was, it was still easy, but it was a little bit more physical work that I had to cut out. That's why we upgraded and went to this. There's too many, too much little, little, little labor things in aquaponics. This is a high class farming method. We shouldn't be out there doing all types of stuff, too much physical labor. That's not what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be kicking back like I'm doing now and watching our stuff grow feeding fish and watching our stuff grow that should be it and we still got some more work to do on this system here but it's going to be phenomenal about it all oh, man i can't even tell you the things that i got going on for this right now the things that i'm working out for this system here it's just unbelievable so with that being said once again let me stop getting off uh getting off into the little tangent once again this is for you the blueprint laps run laps around everyone and it gets even deeper than this but i'm not going to go into it right now but i should use the same formula for me to learn anything but it's just the, the, the letters stand for different things. But you can learn anything. And this is the, this is the truth. This is the, this is the dead truth. Dead serious truth. You can learn anything. Absolutely anything. Everyone can. Aquaponics, you will master it. I look forward to seeing you guys master it. Everyone out there should be mastering it. The whole world should be doing aquaponics. If not, you've lost your mind. The freshest fish. The freshest vegetables. I'm pumped. You can do it. Laps. Learn, assemble, produce, practice, sell, serve. Do not stare. We get it going. This is Brooklyn, St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics reminding you to stop walking and get you a car. <laughs>